So let's go ahead and move um, into chord voicing. So I'm going to stay about right here for now. Um, and also don't forget to use um, your Leslie switch. You hear that? Okay. Now let's go ahead and move into chord voicing. So um, let's do let's do the key of E flat that is near and dear to everyone. Um, so let's do E flat now. Let's kind of come back out a little bit. So when you're playing the organ, especially when you're playing by yourself, um, you might be playing behind the speaker or you might be playing for a prayer. You really want to fill those chords up because you were the only musician that's playing. Um, so what you would want to do is add sevens and nines, elevens, minors, you know, minor seven, minor nine, minor 11, um, lots of 13s and stuff. You hear a lot of that in gospel music. Lots of tritones as well. So we'll cover a few of those right here. Okay, so I'm in the key of E flat. Now let's walk all the way up to the four. Okay, so I'm E flat. All right, now I'm playing the two, but I have actually added um, this is our flat seven from E flat, the D flat. Okay, so. Just depending on what you wanna do. I've got this, uh, this G right here, and I can do that F too, so. Okay, now I'm on the three, major one over three, and I've got E flat and F here. Okay, now I'm gonna go to uh, the four. All right, now my bass pedal is on A flat. My left hand is playing E flat, G. My right hand is playing C, E flat, G, and B flat. Okay, so. Okay. All right, now. From there, you would probably, I mean, I'm just, this is just kind of how I would do it. I'm playing for prayer or something. Okay, now this is the minor of the four. Um, and so the chord here in my left hand, I'm actually going from this. My left hand, or my, my foot is still playing A flat. And my right hand is actually doing B, E flat, B, E flat. B flat and then I got a G right here so and then I switch so in my left or in my right hand now I've got B flat E flat A flat and F okay so okay now let's go to the one over five all right, and now we are going to walk it up again. All right, now my left hand isn't really playing anything. I can have it play something if I want to. For instance, right here, I'm just playing this G, but my right hand is doing most of the chording. In this uh, chord of my right hand, I've got A flat, B, D, and G. Okay, and that's over B. And then I'm going to go to the six, so... playing a regular C minor right there. All right, now let's walk it up again. Okay, so now I've just got a five over seven. My right hand is playing the five, which is B flat, F, B flat, D, F, over D. My, uh, my foot is also playing D, okay? Now let's walk it up again. So we're gonna be right before the two, okay? So in my right hand, I've got G, C, D, G again, over E. My foot, my left foot, is playing E. 
All right, now we're going to do kind of the same thing that we did on the minor four. Okay, now I'm on the minor two. All right, A flat my right hand, C, E flat, and G. All right, my left foot is playing F, and then my thumb right here and my left hand is playing G. So then you move it to F, and then. So. All right, I'll call that out. So we started here. All right, now my foot is still on F. My right hand is going to play B flat, D flat, E natural, and G. And then in my left hand, I've just got an E here. You can add more if you want to, but. Now my left hand has this E flat. My right hand is playing that first chord that we did. A flat, C, E flat, and G, so. You can do a variation. I just lifted up my E flat here, and then I added this G, so. And then back to the five. Okay. Now I'm, I'm playing, I'm not using all my fingers here. So, it just kind of depends on what sound you want. So your five, for example, could be like that. So, and here I've got that same chord again, A flat, C, E flat, and G over B flat. And I've got G here. And now I've got actually a B flat uh, major seven, not a major seven, just a dominant seven. So B flat. Uh, and that chord is A flat, C, D, and F. And then I'm just playing an F. And the reason I'm not playing a whole lot of notes down here is because I'm kind of toward the lower end of the keyboard. So it's not like I'm up here, I have a lot of room to work with, so. And then I would end it off with something like. All right, and that little sequence right there is just B flat, C, B flat, A, B flat, so. E flat, okay. Right here I've got in my right hand E flat. I actually went. All right. I went from this E flat, A flat, E flat to E flat, B flat, E flat. So my right hand I've got E flat, A flat, and E flat again. C in my left hand. My foot is still playing E flat. Um, and I don't even have to change this chord in my right hand. I just moved my left hand down to the B natural. And then finally an E flat chord to finish it off. So again, E flat, G, B flat, E flat, B flat, just down here just to add some more. So that whole thing is gonna be. Uh, So that's something that you can actually do for prayer. So let's do it one more time. And then let's kind of bring these out for the end. I'm just alternating right there and you're gonna want to develop your own version of that ending I, I do different things at different times that's another good one that same thing we did 
you don't have to go back and forth if you don't want to. And this time I added an F here, so. So it, this chord right here is just F, A flat, B flat, and E flat over B, natural. My foot is still playing E flat, so. Okay, flip that on, flip it back off. So that's a cool thing that you can do for prayer if you want to.